This is the Luxman R5030. It's an AM FM stereo tuner and power amplifier in one. I quite like this unit and there's nothing electrically wrong with it, but let's take a look at the back. It's got these twist type speaker terminals. And if you watched my previous video about the Technics amplifier, you know what I think about these. And what do you know, they're broken. So in the Technics amplifier video, I tried to repair them with super glue. And it kind of worked, but it will probably break again pretty soon, because that's kind of their thing. So someone asked in the comments of that video, why not just replace the speaker terminals with something better? Well, guess what we're doing today? Here you can see the plastic is broken. So we'll start by removing the old ones. So we have some filtering soldered directly on the speaker terminals. Let's start by removing them. Now that we have the broken speaker terminal removed, we can see how it operates. So the idea is that you insert the speaker cable into the terminal and then you twist it to secure it. So here we have one of the speaker terminals disassembled. So this is what's behind the knob that you twist. We can see here we have two pieces of metal, one of which can move up and down like this. And when it's in the open position, like it is now, this hole is exposed and that's where you're supposed to connect the speaker cable. And then you secure the speaker cable by moving the upper piece towards its closed position. And this up and down action is achieved by twisting this knob. So if we look at the bottom side of this knob, we can see that it has two grooves in the shape of two small spirals. And as you twist the knob clockwise, these pins move along the spiral grooves towards the center to fasten it. So as you can see, these holes for the old speaker terminals are way too large for the new ones. And we're going to solve that by mounting this 3mm thick metal bracket on the other side of the chassis, kind of like this. And then we'll drill the holes into this bracket instead. And I think we can use the holes for the old speaker terminal assembly to secure it. Okay, now let's trace the hole so we know where to drill. Well, luckily the accuracy is not that crucial. So the size of the holes should be about the size of the inner diameter of this insulator. Looks like 8 millimeters. Well that turned out terribly. Should have used the pillar drill that I don't have. Ah, close enough.
It doesn't look that bad. Now we can finally connect some proper speaker cables.